Hey there, CJ Math students, and welcome to homework 2.6. It's multiplying, dividing, mixed numbers. Uh, this is actually a practice, so go ahead and write that down. We've done this in class, so now we are practicing it. Uh, we're trying to become masters of it. So the first uh, set of instructions says, find each product. First, change each fraction to an improper fraction, if it's not already uh, in a, 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 not a mixed number. Then look to cross-cancel. You must show all your work. This has to be neat and complete. So. And uh, I'll start off by helping us out here and do the odds. So plus 3. So we have 5 over 3 times. And then on this one, 1 times 6 plus 6, that's 11 over 6. So look to cross-cancel. Um, no need to flip or anything like that. Can't cross-cancel. So I'm just going to go straight across. And I say uh, this is equal to 55 over 18. So how many times does 18 go into 55? Well, let's figure it out. Uh, it's got to be either like 2 or 3, right? So let's try 3, for instance. So 3 times 8 is 24. Carry your 2. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2, 54. So just, we're good, right? 3 and 1, 18. Pause the video right now. Make sure your work is good to go. It's nice and neat. Pause it and try number 2 and make sure your work kind of looks like number 1. All right, let's move on to number 3. So uh, let's change these fractions that are mixed numbers into improper fractions. So when I do that, I get 1 plus 2, 3 over 2 times 2 plus 5, 7 over 5, right? Look to cross-cancel. Can I cross-cancel anything? No, I can't. So for the second time in a row, just multiply straight across. I get 21 over 10. 10 goes into 21, obviously, two times with only one left over. So we have 2 and 1, 10. So, C. Please make sure you're circling your answers, right? Um, number five. Again, change this to an improper fraction. It's 21. That's 8. So 1 plus 21 is 22 over 7. Times 1 plus 8 is 9 over 4. Right? Keeping the denominator the entire time. Um, so, can I cross-cancel? Finally, yes, yes I can. Uh, 4 can divide by 2, 22 can divide by 2, and that's 11. Now I can go straight across, and I get 99 over 14. Don't freak out. You can use your reference sheet. Right? Put your finger on 14, then ask yourself, okay, let's go ahead and go drag my finger along 14 until I get to a number bigger than 99. And when you see that, go back one. So you get 7, right? 7 times 4 is 28. Carry your 2, 7 times 1, 7 plus 2, 98, right? So 1 left over. So we have 7 and 1, 14. Let's see. My work is neat. It's complete. I've shown all my work. I would pause if I were you right now and try and do 4 and 6. It's the smart thing to do. It's committed to doing justice. Number 7. 1 times 2, that's 2. 5 times 8, that's 40. So 1 plus 2 is 3 over 2, right? Times... 5 plus 40 is 45 over 8. Look to cross-cancel. Unfortunately, there's nothing to cross-cancel here. Uh, so we're going to have a pretty big fraction that we have to work with. But we can do it. So 3 times 45. Well, 3 times 40 is 120, and 3 times 5 is 15. So 120 plus 15, if you're doing that math in your head, should give you 135. And then 2 times 8 is 16. So this is a real challenge one, right? So 16 into 135. Again, no need to freak out. Just put your finger on 16 and figure out, all right, how many times can I go into 135 without going over? Drag it across. You'll see, okay, 8 times. 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 4. It's from the 48. It gives you 12, right? So 135 minus 28. I love football, so I know that the score 35 minus 28, the guy's down by a touchdown, so it's 7. So I can mentally just do that in my head. That's how I learned uh, to do that subtraction, right? But if you really wanted to borrow, you could borrow from the 3, gives you a 2, and then this 15, 15 minus 8 is still 7, right? So 8 and 7 left over, 16. So B is your answer. All right, so now that we're done with that, uh, make sure you circle the answer. Again, I would pause if I were you uh, and make sure I can do the even problems. These, these videos do, do you no good if you just sit there and watch them through and then at the end you're like, well, I don't know what to do. So if you need to rewind and you'd be like, what did he do? What was his first step? 
when you're trying to do number eight, I definitely recommend doing that. Trust me, it will pay off. All right, on the back side, it says find each quotient. So first, change each fraction to an improper fraction. Next, you need to flip before you look to cross cancel. That's huge, right? And you must show all work. So let's do number nine. So um, five times two, that's 10. Three times 10, that's 30. Uh, so we have 11 over two, uh, still divided by uh, 33 over 10, right? I'm sorry, this is kind of acting funny, but uh, first we're going to flip it. Um, and we're going to have now 11 over 2 times 10 over 33. So now we go ahead and look to cross cancel, and we can actually do 11 and 33. We can do both by 11. So 33 divided by 11 is 3. And then 2 and 10, we can divide both by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So now I multiply straight across, and what do I get? I get 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 3 is 3. 5 over 3, obviously 3 goes into 5 one time with 2 left over. So that's 1 and 2 thirds. D. All right. Look at number 11. Uh, we're going to do 4 times 3. That's 12. And 3 fourths we don't have to do anything with. Yay, hey. Uh, there we go. All right. So we got 14 over 3 still divided by 3 fourths. It's important that you show this flip step because a lot of times if you forget to even show it, you'll forget to do it. So we have 14 over 3 times 4 over 3. Now, can we cross cancel anything? Unfortunately, we cannot. All right. So let's go across and we'll say, all right. What is uh, 14 times 4? Uh, well, 4 times 10 is 40, and 4 times 14 is 16. 40 plus 16, that's 56. 3 times 3 is 9. So how many times does 9 go into 56? Put your finger on 9, drag it across until you get to a number that's bigger than 56, and pick the number that's in front of it. So 9 goes into 56. Uh, we got 6 times, because 9 times 6, that's 54 with two left over. So we have six and two ninths. Right. D is your answer. All right, 13. Uh, four times two, that's eight. Three times four, that's 12. So we got nine over two, still divided by 13 over four. So flip it. And we're gonna have now nine over two times four over 13. Can we cross cancel? We sure can. Two and four. Two becomes a one. Four divided by two becomes a two. Let's go straight across. And we're gonna get uh, two times or nine times two is eighteen. One times thirteen is thirteen. How many times is thirteen go into eighteen? One time with five left over. So one and five. 13th. Again, it does you no good if you're just copying this down. And you're like, what? What did you do? Pause it, rewind it, stop it, try number 14, right? Number 15 is interesting because it's a whole number. So to make a whole number into a fraction, you just put it over 1. Now, the only thing we need to change is this improper fraction. So 4 times 2, that's 8, right? So we have 5 over 1, right? We didn't need to do anything to that but except put it over 1. Still divided by 1 plus 8 is 9 over 2. Now we go ahead and flip, right? So now it's 5 over 1 times 2 over 9. Nothing to cross cancel. We multiply straight across and we get 10 over 9. So 9 goes into 10 one time with 1 left over. That's 1 and 9. Uh, sorry, 1 and 1 ninth, my fault. So C is your answer. Okay, so that's it. Call me if you have questions. Make sure you're showing your work. It's nice and neat, just like I did. Uh, show committed to doing justice. If you do a problem and none of the answers are there, erase it, try it again, rewatch this video. You guys can do it. Call me if you have questions.